music whether it is uh, indian music or foreign music uh, if it is played played to tune without apaswaram then uh, anyone can uh, appreciate and uh, enjoy Yes, at the moment she is in uh, Los Angeles. She is oh, doing her. She is teaching our violin to them. She is learning their violin. So she is a teacher from school. So thank you doctor you have saved me from the embarrassment <laughs> I have to put you in the perspective thank you so you take the message to the other countries and tell so you are not you are not only a doctor but also a pro <laughs> thank you uh, So, as you all know, we have got two systems, Carnatic and Hindustani, and both the systems are unique in quality and quantity. and divinity music is divine most of the things there are many common th- aspects like uh, ragas talas or talams compositions composers great masters saint composers and whether it is hindustani or carnatic it helps us to realize or experience that it is rather easy to see god 
through music than any other thing. So it is not mere entertainment. So therefore, my request is, you must feel or regard the subject or the art as that is we are going to we are in an atmosphere like a temple while we are in india we will i mean the feeling will not be there but once you are out of this place out of our country you will f start feeling the pride feeling for our culture whether it is music or dance or religion whatever it is so i don't want to say much about that because you all know so i will start playing with uh, one or two familiar ragas ragas which are common to both both the systems and one thing i want to tell you about the violin violin has because when dr said i am the sixth generation or seventh generation don't think we are all violinists for the past sixth uh, sixth generation violin came to india only 250 years ago so violin came to our family only uh, myself and my father before that we were all singers vocalists so our music is vocal tradition vocal oriented and uh, in indian music there is no special music as instrumental music this music by the great artists instr instrumental artists who are playing it's all vocal oriented whether as in western music you have music for instruments so our composers have not composed music for instruments it's only for singing and what all we play now it is uh, vocal oriented and uh, when we sing then there are words for it sahitya but we have to get the effect of the sahitya through the instrument and it is very difficult also so now i will will play one composition that is in carnatic music we call it usually we commence the recital with a varnam varnam is a form of composition usually played in the beginning and that helps that sets the mood of the concert and helps the artist to get warmed up not only the uh, artist but also the listeners so we will begin the concert with a varnam i will tell you the in which raga is the varnam i will tell you in a minute uh, as uh, as soon as uh, word of warning don't lean against the wall because you run the risk of carrying part of it with you when you go back <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
So we will play the Varnam in the Ragam Mohanam. Corresponding Ragam in the So the corresponding ragam to Mohanam in the Hindustani music is Bhopal. This part of the, what I play is called alap. This is not the composition. When I play the composition, he will also join. So this is the raga alap. That's improvisation, basic improvisation. Melodic improvisation.
item is it is in the ragam abheri abheri is the name of the raga in carnatic music and uh, the corresponding raga name is bim plus so first uh, we will play raga alap and then we will play a composition by tyagaraja and the talam is adi adi talam is equal to tin tal so first we will play the alap
usually force things, but because being a small thing, so to uh, to get a bigger sound. Uh, yes, same pitch. Yes, yes. But we don't call it uh, jala, but uh, there is. No, uh, no, we don't conclude in a jala, but. Um, by jala, you mean the crescendo, right? Yeah. When the music reaches a certain point and then the total die down. Yes, that uh, excitement you will get uh, in Carnatic music also. So, we'll play that also now. <laughs> Because uh, our composition set to this uh, particular uh, time cycle, that is Thalam, uh, and if it is Adi Thalam, means, Adi Thalam means it, is, uh, it has got eight beats. And uh, when we were doing the Swaraprasthara or uh, rhythmic improvisation, uh, the composition starts on a particular beat, that is the beginning of the. So we always uh, impro do our improvisation to come to that sum, you know. So, th so that uh, not for confusion is uh, showing the tala for others. Oh, it's a yes, because you cannot count it, you know, and just to like. So that's all. That's the measure, <laughs> time measure. And uh, if you have someone there to put that uh, tala, you are f you can play freely. Otherwise, you will have to think about it, and uh, it's con sort of controlled. Uh. But in Hindustani music, the tabla artist, you know, he will keep the uh, that signs because instead of putting uh, by somebody else or the main singer. He will keep up that sign, so they know it. Are <laughs> yeah. improvising together at the same time? Yes. No, but that is uh, like individual improvisation again. It's not something combined. Like he's improvising on his own. And More of the on his own. Yeah, it's just that it's uh, it's like where he leaves, I take off, and something like that. <laughs> it's a coordination. So kind of spontaneous. You don't actually. Uh, <laughs> Unlike the composition, where you memorize the keys, uh, in, in this case, you can't, <laughs> like you can't have uh, memorized the keys. So now I I will play another composition. Uh, again, it's a composition by Tyagaraja, but uh, in the raga, the raga Hindola. In Karnati we call it Hindolam, Hindustani Malgams. And um, we'll play that uh, rhythmic improvisation together. And uh, <laughs> we'll try to bring that jala also. Hindustani music, jala is 
क्रिटिसिजम इज एवरी वे नो डोट मैन बट वी डोट बॉदर अबाउट क्रिटिसम ना सो what is the time limit we must uh, yeah. as long as you don't get uh, bored <laughs> when you say when you feel little it is too much you can say please stop it
So that is Jala in Carnatic music. <laughs> So I'll play one more item and uh, that is the concluding item in uh, we call Sindhu in Carnatic music Sindhu Bhairavi in uh, Hindustani music Bhairavi. We'll play a small uh, light song and then
bhajan, Hindustani bhajan. Uh, Hindustani, when I say the composition in Hindu, Hindustani, but uh, the tune is in Carnatic by Swati Tirnal, the composer Maharaja Swati Tirnal. <laughs>
saint composer Purandra Dasa. It is in the praise of Lord Krishna. Krishna and Begani Baro. Krishna, please come close to me very quickly. The mother is uh, calling Krishna. <laughs> So, with this, we conclude today's result. Dana, excellent speech. Dana asks for Tillana. That is a very, uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call it, a uh, fast piece. <laughs> Thrilling piece. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. Maybe when our friends go outside India, they will invite me. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.